What's going on everyone? So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can rig your own character and animate movements just like this right here. So let me go ahead and hit play. And as you can see, we have an infinite loop, my man over here. Cube man's doing little jumping jacks. And if you were to go over here, you can actually see we have the armature, the actual bones that's moving the character. And you can go in here and basically customize this to whatever you like, do whatever movement you want to. And then we can go on from there. So we're gonna be rigging this character, making it from scratch, as well as adding the armatures and then posing it and showing you how to animate it just like this. So without further ado, let's hop into Blender and let me show you how I did this. So here I am in Blender. I'm using version 3.1.2. And we're just gonna go ahead and start off. And this time we're not actually gonna delete the default cube. So first off, let's press number one that gives us the front view. Also, all of my keys, such as my screencast, whatever I click or type will be shown in the bottom right. And then here we can click on the cube, press G, Z, and we can type in 1.5, just move it up right here. Actually, let's do, let's command Z that. Let's do G, Z, 2.5, there we go. And then over here, we can basically go over here and let's press S. And then on the Y, so press S, then Y, and scale it like a little thinner. And there we go. And now we can go back to one. We can do Shift D, and then we can move this over like here. Press S, Z, shrink it like this, and then just put it anywhere. It's basically an arm. And now we got it looking like this. Now we can scale this even shorter on the Y, so S, Y, like that. And again, this is just a basic character design for this example so here we can move it you know like right there and then let's do shift d then press r and then y and then 90 and then g and just move it like right here and if you want to scale it by z as z and then make it down more you can but it doesn't have to be perfect for right now and sometimes it's easier to just duplicate this and then move it over. But for this basic design, I'm just gonna show you guys the super easy way. And typically if you're making like a animation with the model and everything, you usually would have everything cut in half anyways. And then you'd mirror it and then basically create it from there. But since it's such a basic um, design, I'm not gonna waste too much time on that. But basically let's click on the arm, go here to mirror. And then just click onto the cube and boom, we got an arm. And then click on my man's leg right here. Click on mirror, click on the mirror object, select the body, which is the cube. And then what you wanna do first is apply this. So click back on the arms and apply. And then same here, you can just do a uh, command A as well. But uh, let's just do here and click on apply there. And basically what that does is it saves you a lot of stress when you start adding armature because now these are essentially, they want to affect each other. But we're actually gonna do something else. We're gonna press A on the key. And actually instead of pressing A, I just just um, show highlight and just select everything on the uh, character. Do control A or uh, command A. And then basically apply all transforms. And now at this point, we have everything so we can highlight again. And then we can do command J or control J, boom, and now we've made everything into essentially one little piece. So now if I press G, move it like this. This makes it much easier to add the armature. So just note, if you're creating a model and there's some things that, at least for the general body, you want to continue editing, make sure you do that first because once you join it, it's annoying to re like undo it again. And if you go too far ahead, it might be impossible for you to redo it. So here we just name this like the, cube man all right know whatever you want to and now here is the fun part so let's do shift a and we have the armature so click on armature and then in terms of this if you want to change like the visibility and then also like viewport to see let's put, actually put a viewport in front but i'm just gonna do shift z anyways to be a wireframe so it doesn't really matter but for more complex models obviously it might be harder to see the bones and let's do gz move it up like right here and since so it's such a super basic design I'm just showing you guys a super simple way to just get started. I'm not gonna create all of the like the spine and typical like neck and head bone and stuff. So for this, we're just gonna make 
basically this is gonna be like the main spine bone and we'll press tab to edit mode and then once you have it if you have it don't have it selected select the little tip of the bone here press the E key to extrude and then we'll make like a here we can make like a little arm like this and then this would be like the shoulder and then we can move it again now if you want it to have a uh, elbow you can do it like this and then press E again just like that and then same here click on this bottom part here's E and then drag this down here and then drag this down here now one thing I forgot to do which was uh, we tap in edit mode I forgot to add some loop cuts in between before I mirrored but it's okay we can do it right now and basically we can just like do control R command R and scroll our mouse like right there and basically it looks like I do about six six or seven it's not a too big of a deal and then we do it again over here so let's see four five six and let's do seven right there same with the legs just scroll on your middle mouse wheel add some loop cuts and then technically you can go here and we'll just go like that okay so now basically what I did is when we want to bend it, it actually has the ability to bend now instead of being like perfectly straight. But we're not there, done there. Let's do Shift Z again. And right now, let's select the armature now. And what we need to do first is name these bones. This is very important because you want to mirror this over. So first off, tab in edit mode now. Click this bone here, for example, and we'll just name this. So this would be essentially if it's facing us, this would be the um, left side. If that's assuming like the uh, this like is right here is his, his mouth and nose, but if again if this is like the back side, obviously you name the back. But since this is assuming he's facing us, this would be the left arm. So I'd name this uh, lower arm dot L, and it's very important that you put dot L because that is essentially Blender's way of knowing what is the other half. So then we can have like this one would be like upper arm dot L. And then this can be like the shoulder collarbone. Let's just say shoulder uh, dot out for now. You can always change the name of this part, but make sure you have dot out there. The spine, we don't have to worry about this right now. This, I can name this like hip dot L. This can be like upper leg dot L. And this can be like lower leg dot L. So now what we do is press A, select all of them, right click while we're still in edit mode hit symmetrize boom look at this look at this shoulder dot r upper arm dot r upper leg dot r lower leg dot r and then shoulder l and just it should if you do everything just like me it should be perfect but again you can always double check make sure the names are right and now let's tab out back to object mode let's click or click on the mesh and then shift click onto the armature control p or command p and we're gonna set the parent to automatic weights right here boom and then we click onto our armature the bones now we have this option called pose mode check this out we can press r and look at this we got arm movement like that and then also legs just like this and then we can press a to select all of them we can press option r alt r to reset that now there's one issue I click on the spine bone or press g and look how it only moves the arms and legs. So we have to fix that. Now this is how we do it. Go back to object. First off, let's select the armature like this. Then select the mesh. And let's go to weight paint. So to select the bone, you basically press control and then left click. So if you can see here, control left click on the thigh. And you can see for the most part, most of the arms and the legs are doing fine but for the shoulder and the spine, nothing is being attached. So if you don't have it here, go to switch to add. Make sure the weight is basically one. And then you can see here, just start coloring in the areas that you want. So right now I basically want, for the most part, I want this entire top part of the guy pretty much to be and it might take some time, might be a little difficult when you're first doing this, but it is what it is, and let's just color this in. And I'll try to color this in as much as I can. Let me go like this. And for the most parts, this is what I got so far. And now what we can do 
is we can go back to object, click back onto our armature, click on pose. And look at this, now we have my man moving around. And let's just check everything again by rotating everything here, just like that. Looks like it's good here. And look at that. So now I select A, Option R, Alt R. And let's do a simple animation. So let me bring this up right here. And basically let's select everything by pressing A. Let's go back to the first frame and let's just press uh, I. Location, rotation, scale. And this basically sets the tone for the first essentially start of the scene. Let's go to, let's frame 20. Click on the arm, press R, let's rotate it like, let's maybe like this and like this. Now, if your 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 character looks crazy, it's probably because you don't have enough loop cuts in your uh, your armature or your arm, your mesh. That way, if you needed to bend a little bit more, I mean, I could have added more, but I mean, it's not a big deal here. And then here and go like this and like this. And we can go like that, press R. And then basically I can just move GZ up like this, press I, and so far I messed up. So let me do Command-0, Control-Z. You have to press A to select all of the bones you just moved, then press I, location, rest, hand, scout. Now, boom. And then Technically, we can just click on this one and Shift D and move it over to 40. That's gonna look pretty strange. Obviously, it's not gonna be perfect, but basically, we can just repeat this, selecting these two, Shift D, move this over, and then if you technically you didn't have to do that, you could have just gone to the uh, render and change this to like uh, let's do 81 frames. And now we have my guy like this. <laughs> hey, let's go. And if you wanna make it faster, obviously we can move these over, select them, press G, and go like that. And I'll move this one over to the 20. So essentially instead of being 20 frames per, sec um, per second, it's gonna be like every 10 frames. And technically we can just delete these two. Switch this to uh, 20, let's just do 20 frames. Boom, like that, and there we go. Let's just do 21 in case um, you don't want to get cut off anything. Boom, just like this. And then I'll we'll save it and then you go to the render. Or let's go with this one, you can see better. Let's go out of pose mode. And basically, this is what our character looks like right here. And now you can see that's a super basic animation, how to set it up, and then how to customize it with weight painting if bones aren't working. Now, if you want to see a more complex design using much more bones as well as different stuff, definitely comment below and let me know. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.